Right then, today I'm going to be modding this uh, Asus 775 board here. Uh, I'll just take the camera off there. It is a Asus PQ5 Dulux motherboard. It's got some uh, crucial ballistics tracer RAM in it, although I use uh, G Skill uh, Pi RAM usually. It's got a 16 plus 2 phase power design, loads of 3 heat pipes, heat sinks for the uh, VRM and the north bridge are all uh, copper and the same for the south bridge as well. It's got plenty of SATA ports. Um, I have in it currently a Core 2 Duo E4600. And I will be putting in this Xeon here, which is a X5450, and I'm also on ordered a X5460 from China, which is a bit faster. This costs 20 quid off eBay, has a few scratches on it, but other than that, it's perfectly fine. Now, as you can see, currently the 775 CPU fits in there perfectly fine. But if I take it out a minute, lift the uh, lever up, lift that up, take that out there. Right, you can see here on the CPU, there's two little notches, and the corner, the triangle, is in the top left hand corner with the writing sideways. Now on the Xeon chip the notches with the writing sideways are in a different position but the triangle is still uh, in the top left corner but as you can see the notches are on the other side of the CPU at the top and bottom so, to fit the Xeon in the socket, we need to cut off uh, this part here, this here, and this here. So, hopefully I'm going to film this and it isn't going to go wrong. I will be using this very nice Stanley knife, as you can see, hopefully it's sharp enough. Uh, a razor blade can also be used for this. Plastic is quite hard and brittle. I'm not sure whether that's because it's all plastic or whether most sockets will be like this, but it seems to be cutting through it alright. This notch that I'm doing over here is probably the easier one of the two to do, as no pins are actually in the way of it. So the, the notch on this side should be easier to get off in theory. Uh, I'm just going to turn the board around so I can get cut the other side as well. There we go. Right, now I'll get some tweezers. You have to be very careful. Um, not to bend any of these little pins in here. It's actually still attached a little bit in there, although you probably can't see from the camera angle there. Oops. There we go. I've flicked it off onto the board there. So hopefully I've cut that off enough, I'll get a bit of a closer closer look at it. As you can see I've cut that bit off there, 
and then this bit over here is a bit more tricky because the pins are uh, right next to it so I'll have to be very careful with this next bit there we go it's refocused Flip the board around again. I need to remove that little piece there. I'll bring the board a bit closer. Or not. The best idea is probably best if I hold that up while I do this. As you can see, I've cut off that piece there. I'm going to try and get that with the tweezers. Might need to cut it a little bit more yet. Also need to clean up this other side as well, I think. Is, is an extremely small uh, tab so it's a bit tricky to get out but I've got it there when it focuses nope there we go that's it that little bit there now you have to make sure there's nothing in the socket so I'm going to hold it up to the light a second I have got a little bit of plastic in the socket. Fortunately I haven't been at, bent any of the pins but I'm gonna need a little bit more light. Right I've spent a bit more time just cleaning it up a little bit. Yeah, I've cut a little bit more out so that I can just about wiggle the zeon from side to side a tiny bit. So now which way to put it in, when you put your Core 2 Duo in, or your 775 CPU, you normally put the triangle on this board, pointing the corner of the socket in that direction there. As you can see, the uh, little gold triangles in, in this corner here. And the notches are where the pins were. It still goes in, you can wiggle it about a little bit. Now, with your Xeon, you want to make sure that the corner of the gold triangle is in the same position as it was on the uh, E775 CPU. So, but the notches will be at the top and the bottom now, or wherever they are on your board. But they'll be there in relation to the uh, gold triangle. Now this can wiggle about a little bit in here as well, as you can probably see, not so much side to side. Now you do also need a sticker mod, um, which I don't have yet, because mine's coming from the USA which sticks on the back of here and it actually goes let's get these the right way up right now the sticker goes across 
uh, these pins here and if you want to know exactly which pins they are and which orientation to put the sticker in uh, you can see up on the screen here I have um, Harry Nowell's um, modification guide for LG seven seven LJ seven seven five, uh, which is a great guide. It tells you um, which chipsets uh, support seven seven one CPUs um, and what you can expect uh, out of different CPUs. Where you need to put your sticker and various other things where you need to cut on your board also shows you what your BIOS should look like um, so if you want some more detail look at that, that's on the Linus Tech Tips forum by the way so that's uh, going to be it for my guide for now I will do an update when I get the sticker to put on the bottom of my Xeon um, and I'll also hopefully do a running video as well So. Yeah, that's it for now. See ya.